Here's a big question for you. Uh, uh, Thomas Bearden had said something about scalar waves proliferating basically whatever it comes from one point if you put multiple cables they all get the same power at the end. Um, uh, I, I don't understand the concept that well. Yes, um, we have proved this. I, uh, uh, it's now 10 years ago that I had gave, that I gave a lesson at the Technical University in Berlin and uh, we I had a lot of groups using my experimental kit and they did all these experiments with one transmitter and a lot of tr receivers uh, but at the end if you uh, add all these received powers it is well just what is transmitted if you have one more receiver this will get no energy so it's always balanced energy we could have the chance to, to um, collect energy from the environment because it's an open system. And if there is a source in our uh, environment, then we could, uh, which has the right frequency and which has the right phase angle, then we uh, may um, uh, use this energy and collect it and then we have more energy received that we are transmitting. This is right, but at the end, if you have uh, calculated all transmitted and all received energy, the balance of energy ever is uh, um, accepted and is fulfilled. Okay, so if you were to send off, for example, if you're talking about mostly wireless, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. he, he was talking about if you had wires and you said, okay, that. You would each wire would have the same amount that the original source had in it. So okay, that's interesting concept. So if that's what you're saying, then is if you have the right phase angle and everything, that probably could act, be accurate. Uh, that's, which is a, an amazing concept. You know, I, I am a believer that we do have etheric energy, zero point or Dirac C or whatever you want to call it, and that it's just a matter of using it properly and. Yeah. and collecting it right. So you know, scalar is definitely uh, something that at least implies an understanding yeah. of you know the zero point energy. Yeah. So. Well, you speak about um, you speak about uh, scalar, you say. Uh, I always have problems with this because uh, we have to um, pay attention that a scalar wave is not the same like a scalar field. Uh, if you say only scalar, nobody will know whether you yes, mean a sphere right. or, or a wave because yeah, it's nearly the opposite because a scalar field has no direction uh, and a scalar wave has a direction. And this is um, defined by the wave equation. And uh, this is why in all, my, all of my books, I've, I start with the definition. I say first, well, this is the wave equation. The wave equation is up to Laplace, and the Laplace operator may be separated in two parts, and one part is describing uh, divergence uh, of a vector, which is a scalar, and the gradient of a scalar, which is a vector again, so it has a direction. And the other one is the electromagnetic wave, curl, curl. Well, we know this, and uh, we have, but we have to accept this, and not all people uh, know about this difference and then uh, it could come to confusion. Yes, I can understand that. Yeah. All right, well, there, thank you for your time.